السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبع هداهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين My beloved عليه الصلاة والسلام has taught me to put my trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My beloved alayhi salatu wa salam has taught me that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever present and he is the one to be relied upon. Allah is always present. Allah is always there. And he teaches us وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا Whoever heeds Allah, Allah will find a way out for him. وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ And provide for him from where he did not expect. وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ And whoever relies on Allah, then Allah is sufficient for him. Allah is enough support for him. Indeed, we find that when Nuh had spent nearly a millennium calling people to Islam and then came to the point that kufr is so widespread that it is endangering the few mu'mineen, إِنَّكَ إِنْتَذَرْهُمْ يُضِلُّوا عِبَادَكَ وَلَا يَلِدُوا إِلَّا فَاجِرًا كَفَّارًا When it came to that point and he had done all he could do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved him and the believers in the great ark. When Ibrahim alayhi salam was thrown in the fire to be burnt in it, he turned to Allah and there was Allah for him, not only saving him from the fire, but using him to save the rest of humanity from the fire. He turned to Allah. When Isa alayhi salam called people and came to the point that they wanted to murder him, he turned to Allah and he was saved. When Lut alayhi salam came to the point that in his town people are so wicked that he cannot even protect his own guests from sexual assault, he turned to Allah and Allah saved him and his daughters who believed in him, who believed with him. When Yunus alayhi salam was in the belly of the, of the whale or the belly of the large fish, hut in Arabic means large fish, applicable to whale or otherwise, he turned to Allah. فَلَوْلَا أَنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُسَبِّحِينَ If he had not been among those who remember Allah frequently, لَلَبِثَ فِي بَطْنِهِ إِلَى يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ he would, he would have remained in the belly of that fish until the day of resurrection. He turned to Allah and he was saved from what he did not expect. Musa's mother, alayhi salam, was desperate to save her baby boy. She turned to Allah. Not only was he saved, but he was used to save his people. Maryam was afraid that she would be accused in her own honor, the purest of women ever. Being accused in her honor, she was desperate. She turned to Allah. She became recognized as the purest of all women ever. She turned to Allah and Allah was there for her. Yusuf alayhi salam went from injustice to injustice to injustice to injustice. But he turned to Allah and turned to Allah and turned to Allah and turned to Allah. Until he finds himself in a jail forgotten about. Years passed, they forgot about him. But there again, he turns to Allah and he finds Allah. For indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accomplish what he wills. Inna Allah baligh wa amri. Allah will accomplish what he wills. So when we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we turn to the source of success. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
was an orphan, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took care of him. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was lost. He did not know where to turn for guidance, but there was the guidance of Allah for him. He was poor, and there was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enrich him. When we turn to Allah, we turn to the source of success. So the Messenger alayhi salatu wa salam was promised greater things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the Messenger alayhi salatu wa salam, <coughs> Indeed, the hereafter is better for you than this world, or the later time will be better for you than the earlier times. Allah will give you until you will be completely satisfied. There, Allah is talking primarily about the hereafter. But in a secondary way, Allah is talking about this world. The Muslim community today is in the middle of a transformation. We are not today where we were last year and we are not where we were two years ago. We are changing, we are transforming. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Inna Allah la yughayiru ma biqawmin hatta yughayiru ma bi anfusihim. Allah does not change the condition of a people until they change what is within themselves. All success comes from Allah, not from our deeds. All success comes from Allah. وَمَنْ نَصْرُ إِلَّا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ But Allah grants His success to those who pursue success. Allah grants His success to those who strive in His way. We as a Muslim community, we are changing and بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ our continue, our our condition will change. We as a Muslim community are more focused and bi'ithnillah our condition will change. Bi'ithnillah because we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the best is yet to come, not only in the hereafter but in this world. Because Allah has put us on an adventure. It is the same adventure on which he put the Sahaba before us. The same adventure on which the messengers were before us. The adventure of discovering the best that we can be. The adventure of turning to Allah and sharing the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a community or a society that does not realize that it needs that guidance. The adventure of da'wah, the adventure of islah, the adventure of calling to justice, not only for Muslim, but for all people. The adventure of calling for all that is good and helping people, not only Muslims, but all people. That was the adventure of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that is our adventure today. Allah has blessed our predecessors because of the efforts that they have put after being tried and tested. And make no mistake about it, we too will be tried and will continue to be tried and tested. But bi'ithnillah, out of that, like the gold ore that Imam Siraj was mentioning, like, uh, like Imam Mukhtar was mentioning, like gold, we are going to come out of this purified, stronger, more able to share the khair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than ever before. More united than ever before. And I am not talking about the future. I am talking about what we are working on right now. The fact that the largest Muslim organizations have come together to form the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations, organizing important events like National Muslim Capital Day happening in two weeks. That is a new advance in the adventure of the Muslim community. The fact that by will of Allah, not by our own deeds, having done our parts in minimal civic engagement, Allah has decided as of last November to thrust us outside of the shadows of American society into the heart of American society, into the heart of the civil movement, civil rights movement right now. You cannot have a civil rights conversation today without mentioning Muslims. That is part of our adventure. We do a bit and Allah does much. We make a small effort and Allah accomplishes much. 
We but strive in the way of Allah with all of our imperfections, warts and all. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala covers those warts, teaches us from our mistakes, and puts us on a stage we did not even dream of having. But we must stay the course. Make no mistake about it. Success comes from Allah, and it means that we must hold on to the rope of Allah. We must rekindle in our own hearts the deep spirituality that makes us connected to Allah, not disconnected from Allah and enslaved by dunya. We must rekindle in our hearts the love of knowledge that makes us able to take steps with knowledge and understanding under the light of guidance rather than take steps that are misguided, that are confused. We must stay the course and not compromise our deen. Because in the end, the Lord of success is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah alone. What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he recounted his favors on him? Alam fa'awa? Has he not found you an orphan? And then he took care of you. He found you misguided and he guided you. He found you poor and he enriched you. So what should you do? As a response, he does not ask him to celebrate. As for the orphan, don't push them away. Remember Allah's favor on you. And you share that favor with others. As for the one who is needy, who needs help, who is asking for help, don't berate them. Don't mistreat them. You treat them honorably because a human being who is attached to Allah honors the dignity of every human being. As for the favor of your Lord, remember it often and mention it often. And therefore the path forward is to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ramadan is coming. Let us use that chance to rekindle spirituality in our hearts. Let us reflect on our works and let us remember that every act of khair in the service of any human being is an act, not simply an act of worship, but it brings Islam to life. We shall be idhnillah, speak the truth in defense of the weak, not only Muslims, not only ourselves. We shall be idhnillah, Come to the aid of those who are in need, not only Muslims, not only each other. We shall be idhnillah, stand up for what is right, and we shall be proud to be the people of la ilaha illallah, because helping people is the meaning of la ilaha illallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us, and may Allah forgive us, and may Allah show us the best that is yet to come. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.